This $35 knife is so close to perfect. I'm telling you, it is just, it's maddening. I'm talking about the Citivian ST139. So today I'm gonna to show you what's great about this knife, some of the things that I would change and all. Where do you see this action? Now up on the screen are gonna be some specs and they're all measurements I went ahead and took myself, but I'll also list them for you down in the description along with the links to buy. How about a few size comparisons just so you can get a good idea of the true size of knife we're working with today. So we've got the Dozier Hunter, the Rat 2, and of course the Delica. Now the blade shape is actually, you know, it's, it's just pretty standard, but man, is it a good looking drop point with a, it's a full flat grind and a black wash finish. Now there's also, if you're not really feeling this uh, coated version, there's, there's two others with a satin blade. It has a wider profile, which I like because it, it works really well with the wider handle and kind of balances everything out. The blade thickness is about uh, 3.5 millimeters, which definitely, you know, it's not thin, but I don't consider it super thick either. Honestly, I expected it to be more. You really notice the difference at the blade tip. So here it is next to the Boker Plus little friend, which has a four millimeter thick blade. It is so nice to finally get a, like a finger choil that is large enough to actually fit an adult sized finger. Heck, they probably, they probably could have even made it a little bit smaller. I really like the size of this knife. It's a uh, 3.15 inch blade with about uh, 2.9 inches of actual sharpened edge. So it's not huge, but it's long enough, you know, to like cut through something like, I don't know, an apple. The handle is four and a quarter inches long, which really is is just perfect for my medium sized hand. And I like that there's, you know, there's enough room here to where I can grip it without using the choil. The contoured handle scales really do make this pretty comfortable and uh, kind of hand filling. And the action on this thing is just, it is truly amazing. I mean, whatever in the heck that they did to this detent, I wish they did the same to all of their knives because I absolutely cannot fail the deployment and i have been really trying man that's nice the closing is is good too but oh, that opening action man that is just no joke other than the price which you already know the biggest surprise for me here is the blade steel i mean 14c 28n sandvik steel okay on a on a 35 dollars knife that has micarta scales with insanely, I mean, insanely good action is just nuts. I mean, what more do you need? Sure, a frame lock, you know, instead of a liner would be great, but I can just, I, I can almost guarantee that that price would be higher. There might be a way for you to uh, get this at an even cheaper price, which I'm gonna show you right after we talk about the changes I would make. I'm gonna start with the most annoying thing, and that's the pocket clip. I am just, no, I'm not a fan of it. It is only, it's only one position. So yeah, no, there is no lefty love. And I really think that it should be black instead of satin. You know, I totally understand why it's not a deep carry clip because, you know, it, it, it is nice to have something to grab onto for pulling it out of your pocket. But man, I, I just don't like, I just don't like the shallow ride. What's even worse, though, is that I don't know if I'll be able to replace it because of this uncommon, like, screw hole pattern. I mean, why not just make it standard, you know, so it's compatible with, with most other aftermarket clips? It's not so bad in the closed position here, but that flipper tab, man, it just, it looks huge when that blade is open. I sure wouldn't mind like a second opening option, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be thumb studs, but you know, that would probably work best here. Now, this last thing is just a nitpick because I, you know, I don't mind the like 4.4 ounce weight, but you know, I guess you, you could probably make the argument that is, you know, that it's slightly heavy for its size. You know, the ST139 has to be like one of the best values that I have found so far this year. And depending on when you're watching this, as of today, there's even a 5% off coupon on Amazon. And right about now, there's going to be a video up on the screen that I personally picked out for you to go ahead and watch next. And hey, if you haven't already, consider subscribing if you're looking for knife reviews. They get right to the point. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.